Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, In Brad's of course, opinion. Bob. Oh, in our opinion. Today, Brad, we're going to talk about 10-minute shoulder pain relief exercises you can do at home. Again, with this video, we are making an assumption. Sure. We're assuming that you have regained the full range of motion of your shoulder. Right. You know, for, for example, if you look at your shoulders and you put one up and then you put the other one up and the painful one only goes up that far and this one goes up that far, you need to regather that, that motion. You right. need to regain it. Right. Uh, same thing as if you go up your back, one goes this far, one goes this far. Sure. You got to get back, you know, all right. that range of motion. We've got a video on that. We've got more than one, Bob. Yeah, many videos on it. So you, you got to get that motion back. Once that's back, then you're to the point where you're going to want to start doing strengthening, and that's where we are today. Right. So it, it's still painful, but we can still work it. We want to work through it. Now, these are, we got about eight exercises, depending on how you count them. Uh, if there's some that irritate the shoulder, you take that one, put it off to the side, and work the other one. So you can experience a little pain, that fatigue pain, but any sharp pain is a red flag. Take that exercise, put it off until the rest of the muscles get stronger with the other exercise. Save it for someone you love. There you, you go. Put it off to the side, maybe someone you hate, probably, huh? Bob, Bob, that's a strong word, but there's oh, a lot yes. of people we Let's love out welcome there. Welcome people here. Uh, we're, you know, we don't discriminate. Yeah. Uh, if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy fit pain-free and we upload yeah. every day also if you have a chance we've got a sign that's been made please join us on Facebook and like us because Brad and I as children we were picked on we were not liked and we are turning things around and so just look for Bob and Brad on there Facebook. you go Bob. Bob and Brad not Brad and Bob no <laughs> although I know someone that says it should be that yeah it should be I agree <laughs> we Let's just start one way All exercises right. First exercise, you want to start with the Codman's bread? Right. And this is a good one to loosen Just up. Just to with. warm up. Yep, yes, warm I agree. up. I like to do this. If your right shoulder is one that's been bothering you, take your other side and you know you can lean on a chair, you can lean on a couch cupboard, on a piece of furniture, and just let that arm relax. You can do circles one way, do circles the other way. You know, if you don't feel the need this to do this one, you can skip it. But it's a nice one to start with. Yeah. Yeah. Just a nice, easy way to warm up. Um, you actually can warm up doing a little bit of circles too, Sure, Brad. yep. A Work it around. this way and a little circles this way. Sure. Again, should be pain-free. Now, we're going to show you two nice options here. Uh, what we feel is probably your best option to work on shoulder strength is if you use some uh, the wall anchor and the exercise stretch band tubing. and hook it up to something like this, like the wall anchor we have here. Uh, We've really got this event. listed below in our Amazon products. Right. Uh, so if you don't have one of these, you can put it on a doorknob or you can get one of those straps they get where you put it into the door and, and close the right. door. Uh, these really are, are much more efficient and convenient. And if you don't have either of that, you can use uh, some weights and we're going to show you. Or a soup can. Or a you soup can. Off with. Yep. Um, you're gonna, we're going to show you how to do that too. So the first one is, this is the old gold standard rotator cuff strengthening exercise. I would say 90% of all shoulder uh, issues, a therapist is going to have you do this exercise. Yeah, it's part of the rotator cuff, and it's, it's, it's actually, these are small muscles, so it doesn't take a lot right. of resistance. Right. Uh, people make the you know, mistake sometimes of trying to hook up or take a huge weight and do this, but you don't need to. Right. So the you can see his arm is at a right angle. 90 degrees, and he's he's keeping the elbow into the side. He's not going, got the flying elbow out there. Right. Like they call him golf, you know. If the towel comes away, then you know your elbow is too far away from your body. That's critical on this size, that, this exercise. That's why we're taking a little time with it because we want to make sure you do it properly. You know what golfers do? They take their glove and they'll put oh, it on really? their Yeah, when they're doing their swing to make sure they're keeping your elbow into the side. Look at there that. we go. <laughs> yeah. I knew I had that glove here for some reason, Bob. <laughs> So do you want me to do it down here, Brad? Yeah, if you've got a weight, you can do it laying down. on a. So again, the same thing, you can keep a towel in here sure, if you want. Yep. And I'm just going to work, you can go up to neutral like this, or you can go all the way up, you know, see which yep. one is, if, if it's painful or not. And you're going to start off with what you said, 10 to 15 repetitions. 10 to 15 reps repetitions, if it gets too easy, increase the resistance, you can get a bigger weight. If you're working with the 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 did the you band, say repet just, reputations or repetition repetitions? I really don't know what I said, <laughs> but I wanted to say rep, rep, repetitions. Repetitions. <laughs> 
That, that's, we call those outies. Now, you might as well stay right there because you can do the innies with the other hand. Right. So here I'm, I'm actually, there's a come different ways to do this, but yeah, here I'm out this way and now I'm doing innies. Right. This is usually a stronger muscle because sometimes it kind of pulls into the pec. Yep. So, I mean, you can also go like this. This is a little more advanced, I yeah. suppose. We're, we're, we're getting into that, yep. Yeah, we're going to be doing that one yet. So. That, if you need more weight, you know, just put another weight in your hand. Sure. This one, believe it or not, you know, again, I'm, I would think I'm fairly healthy. And just by doing 10 to 15, I started to feel that. Oh, yeah. A little bit. I mean, if you're doing it properly, it works so small. And this shoulders. is only two pounds. So, these, again, these are small muscles. They are not, you know, they're, they're, they're not made to take a lot of weight. Now, if you um, have the bands, you can do this. And then standing there, this is one of the beauties of using bands in the anchor is that it's much more efficient. The beauty of the band, The Brad. beauty of the band is wow. exactly right. Okay, so the next thing, if you're doing these and it's feeling pretty good, then the next step up is more functional because we use our hands overhead is we're going to go at 90 degrees instead of elbow by the ribs, 90 degrees, and we're going to start pulling out like this. And this is nice. You can do both at the same time. Yeah, keep yourself even. Yep. And, and now, it also works on posture a little bit. You're really working on trying to squeeze the shoulder blades right. together too because with the shoulder, you want to make sure it has a good base. Right. And the, the base is the shoulder blade itself. That helps support the shoulder. And if, the, if, you know, if your shoulder blade is winging out, it's not giving the proper support for right. the shoulder and it's giving you trouble. And then you turn so. around and you simply do it the opposite direction. Now, if you have weights, you can do it. It's a little more, you have to work a little bit harder. So you gotta just get it up like this, Brad. And you can, I guess you can do it like this, right? You can do one at a time. And you can go like this. That way works better. Yeah, right. it does. This if one, you, you can see you, I'm a little bit yeah, tighter. If you lay on your stomach, Bob, lay on your stomach once and do it with your other, yeah, that hand. So I'm going like this? What am I doing, Brad? Over here. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. I, I really, didn't know where he was going with this. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, that actually does work pretty good, though, Brad. Yeah, but it's still, it works. And if that's what you have, lay on your bed and go over the edge, and, and you're still isolating, working those rotator cuff muscles. You can see that I'm, uh, I'm a little bit tight there. Yeah, I can as see tall, that. As far as I could go. <laughs> and that'll happen. You know, you've got to source all your pods. are going to be a little tight. Next one, scapular retraction. And actually, this is very similar to what we just did, except for... You're going a little bit lower. Going, yeah, well, you can go, go a little bit lower, yeah. You can go more to the... We can do it down here. Or you can go right here. Yep. Right even. Up in yeah. here. And I like to actually do both. And because then if you're doing this one as well, you really cover all of the muscles. You know, you really can't isolate just all these exercises. When you put them together like this, you do a complete exercise. 10 to 15 reps of that as well. You know well. what I've been doing lately, Brad? What? Um, I, I just kind of started this, but I, when, I, when I do these now, I lock my shoulders back first. Sure. Like this. I lock my shoulder blades back, and then I go like this. Okay. So I don't even let them come forward at all. Okay. I just hold them back the yeah. whole time so they're really supporting, you know, what they're supposed to do in life. They're supposed to... So you have so, to maintain that flexibility. Yeah, I maintain that in the same position the whole time. I lock them in before I, I do the exercise. If you don't so. have the bands, then, you know, you can do it laying down on the floor. And actually with this, I want to throw a couple of pillows. I was just going to say, Brad, don't you want a pillow? Yeah, we can go like this. You want two or you want one? Well, give me two, Bob. Put them right there. Now, the reason you do that, if you don't happen to have a bench lifting set, you know, weightlifting set with a bench, gives you a little space. Yeah. So you can do this. You know, you probably don't have a table like this, so if you're doing this on your bed or on the floor, uh, you know, you, it work, you can go like this, you can work it like this, but you're not going to be able to do this one very well. It's, it's mostly here. But you certainly go overhead, Brad. You could do, you know. Oh, that's too could, much weight, Bob. Is that too much yeah, weight? Yeah. For me, but, I, I, you know, there's people that may. So he's got like a goal post, and then he got, he can do, you can do the Y. That's what I'm doing, Bob. No, you're doing, that's the goal post. This is the Y. Uh, now you're making my shoulders do All things right. they don't like to do. Yeah. And then you can do a rever uh, reverse Y. Can you do that one? There you go. And again, you can go straight across I, too. I can lift weights like that. Or the flies. Yep, yep. straight. Those right. are reverse flies. Why don't we do the flies on, yeah, the reverse flies up. Let's show the flies with the band. Works, uh, works nicer because you're standing. Are you talking about completely out like this? Yep, 
just flies like that. So there again, go. I'm going to do, I'm going to lock my shoulders, my shoulder blades back. I'm going to squeeze them better, hold them, and then I'm going to go like this, Brad. I'm going to keep this the whole time. Yep. You know, I don't do this one. I should add this one. I like yeah, this one. That's a good postural one. That it gets is those, an excellent those one. shoulders, let's get those posterior deltoids involved. Now oh, just, this is excellent. Yeah. Now just flip around and then you can do the other side. So I'm like this now? Yeah, I do that regular fly. There you go. And notice how he's doing it with good control. He's getting good range of motion. And if you got weights and you're, you're laying on the floor, you could use the pillows to help elevate yourself. He's kind of, ugh. And again, there you go. You got your flies with your weights. Are you ready for flexion? Well, now if, if it was painful, I wouldn't do I wouldn't go all the way down. Right. If, you know, if it, I wouldn't go the full yeah. range. If it, I, I would maybe start and go down to about here or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I mean if you bend your elbows more, then yeah. it's, it's not near as aggressive as going out like this or take the weights off. So everyone's shoulders different. You have to uh, compensate and modify it to fit your body. So, so for we're... shoulder flexion, you usually gonna go from the lowest one. Yeah. That's the. That's the beauty of the anchor. I untied, I untied it here though, Brad, so. That's because. You wanna, you wanna wrap it up? Here. You, oh, you want to, you no, want to? No, go ahead. Yeah, there you go, yeah. All right, so I like to go thumbs up. Sure. And I'll even just, and I don't like to usually take it all the way up. Right. I'm just one that likes to go up to 90 degrees. Right. And that's because so, we're therapists. We know if you do that, you're probably you, not going to injure your shoulder. Yeah, and, and less likelihood of impingement. All right. So, and you can do this right here with a weight. That works fine. And well, then, what's nice about this, Brad, is you don't get really any momentum. I mean, you're working up in here yeah. harder because you're stretching harder. And then so, you want to do abduction? Yep. And the thumb up. Works out really well. Yep. There. And then we're going to go ahead. Yeah, then you're ready. <laughs> All right, now playing. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching.